Welcome almost Seahawks. You are almost seventh graders and we are so excited to have you come to our campus. Now, when you visited us in January, it seems like so long ago, but I know it wasn't very long ago. You visited us in January. We told you that we would come to you in the spring and talk to you about elective registration. Well, we're going to do that today. We're not coming to you because of our school shutdown. We are coming to you just like this right now. But I remember when you were at our campus, it was so fun to get to meet you. It was fun seeing you take tours of our campus, meet Sammy, our Seahawk, and play some fun games. So before I introduce you to some other people who are going to talk to you about this elective choice, I wanna to talk to you about a couple of special opportunities for you as incoming seventh graders. First of all, one of our elective programs, STEAM Village, it's a brand new program, as you know, it has a limited space available for it. So you'll definitely wanna select that as your first choice if you are interested in it. If you select STEAM Village, you need to know a couple of things. Number one, STEAM Village is a two-year program. So you're committing to take the STEAM Village electives. There are three trimester-based courses, computer science, engineering, and digital media arts. You'll take each of those in your seventh grade year and then the advanced courses in your eighth grade year. So you will be committing to two years for your elective program. For the first time ever, Serrano is offering a zero period. Zero period is going to be offered to those students who want to select STEAM Village as their elective, yet they also want to take another year-long elective. Maybe it's ASB you want to take, maybe it's AVID, maybe it's band or chorus you will have the opportunity to take a zero period elective or zero period so that you can take that other year long elective. Now, what you have to remember, if you select a zero period, two things you need to know about. Number one, zero period starts at 7.15 in the morning, every morning, all year long. So you have to make that commitment. Second thing you need to know is you cannot drop zero period. Once you take a zero period, you need to commit to that zero period. So if you want a zero period, you can choose it if you choose Steam Village as well. Now I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Branley, who's gonna to talk to you about our elective choices. So take it away, Mrs. Branley. Hello, future Seahawks. I am Miss Branley, your seventh grade assistant principal. We can't wait to have you join us next year on campus. To make next year super successful, we need some more information from you. We need to know what electives you'd like to take next year. So I'm gonna walk you through this form and walk you through what your options are, where you can find out some more information about that, and how you can let us know what your first, second, third, and fourth choice is gonna be. At Serrano, you've got an option of a year-long elective or a trimester elective. If you choose a trimester elective, that means that you're going to be getting three different electives throughout the course of the year. If you choose a year-long option like band or ASB, that means that you'll have that elective all year long. Within the form, there are course descriptions, descriptions of each of the electives, and you can find those by clicking on this link. And there is also a video that you're gonna to wanna to check out where you can find out more information about each elective option, the types of work that you'll be doing and what you can expect from each of those classes. Once you've checked out that information and you've decided what electives you would like to choose, you'll do that in this portion of the form. You'll choose your first, second, third, and fourth choice, um, letting us know what electives you'd like and what order you'd prefer those in. Thanks Seahawks for taking the time to do this. We can't wait to have you on campus next year. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Rubio who will walk you through the rest of the information on the form. Thank you Mrs. Branley. Hey future Seahawks, this is Mr. Rubio, your eighth grade assistant principal. Just like everyone else, I'm excited for the next year. However, before we do that, we have to finish fiddling off the form. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do in order to submit. When you get to the screen, make sure you guys fill out your email. Watch this video. It is very important that you watch this video because it gives you guidelines as to what you're going to be doing. Hit next. 
the information is on here that Ms. Brownlee spoke about. Name, last name first, student ID. For elective courses, Ms. Brownlee spoke about these links and this video. It is very important that you watch the video or click the link for explanation on the electives. Pick your electives. If one of those four electives includes AVID or ASB, it is very important that you fill out this application in this section right here. Your submission will be considered for AVID or ASB only if you fill out that application. So it is very important that you click on this link and submit that. It is very important that you guys click this button if you're intending on taking a zero period. As Mr. Young mentioned earlier, it will be available to some students. Your name, this is an online signature. Make sure you sign your name here completely. And right below you, I need you guys to make sure that your parents acknowledge this form by putting their name as well. Remember Seahawks, there's only one submission per student. So parents, students, it would be wise for you guys to fill up the, uh, the form together. That way both of you just submit one. If you have questions, there is an informational email down here from our guidance office. Mrs. Strahey will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Hit submit and you're done. We'll catch you next year.